And the second trap, this is really, really dangerous. You need to know about that. This was so mind blowing to realize. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Thursday in our day, in our chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is a Bitcoin trading mistake that I made, mostly for guys in Europe, I guess. Anyways, let's get it. By the way, all the storytime vlogs right here, watch them all, but before we get started, love to sell to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Okay, so storytime slash lesson vlog right here. It's a lesson that you should know, I guess. It's a stumbling block. It's a trap. That's what it is. Now, as I said in this vlog, I exchanged all my gold and silver in Bitcoin. I did that in April, all good, all happy. But then two months later, in June, something like that, I had this glorious idea to diversify my portfolio. Let's get some alts. Iota is amazing. Also, Pundi X, 100X in three years. <laughs> and I found more cash to invest it. So why not? Let's do this. But the thing is, I was impatient. I would have gotten anyways, because there are essentially two ways to run into this trap. So as I said, I was impatient. I took the money and I sent it to my bank account. Okay, now that was stupid because then I had to transfer it from my bank account to another bank account to enable me to trade. Doesn't really matter, but it takes three days. And actually it took five days because I initialized everything on a Friday. Really stupid, really freaking stupid. And I was impatient and I wanted them alts now because wow, Bitcoin is up. Bitcoin was up to around 10k, 10k euros. And I thought, oh my God, this is the perfect moment to exchange. So screw it. I will just send half a Bitcoin. It was 0.54 if you're interested. I took this amount, sent it to Binance and I got myself some IOTA and some Pundi X. But later on, I realized, oh my God, I shouldn't have done it because in Austria and Germany, we have this rule where you're basically not allowed to touch your crypto because otherwise you will get from the state, you need to pay really freaking high taxes. Well, you need to pay income tax on that and that's up to 50% in Austria and Germany. So you do not want to touch your crypto if it's younger than one year. After one year, there are no taxes. It's so insane, but that's just how it is. So I made this stupid mistake. I bought crypto and then I touched a part of it after two months. And in this period of time, the price doubled. So half a Bitcoin was around five grand. So half of that, is around 2.5 grand, so I need to pay taxes on that, basically. In my case, it doesn't really matter because I have so much debt, like not debt, but like I can counter calculate because of my business, so I don't have to pay taxes, so that's great. But still, I made this mistake, so stupid. I still need to, you know, deduct something for that. Okay, so that was the first way. You take your old coins and exchange it in alts. And the second trap, this is really, really dangerous. You need to know about that. Okay, so imagine me sending the money straight to this other bank account, so I don't have to wait. So I would have been able to buy new Bitcoin to exchange them, but this would have resulted in the same mistake. This was so mind blowing to realize. The solution for that is to buy other crypto that you don't own. The thing is, if you have Bitcoin, like in my case, I have four Bitcoin, it's roughly the amount, and then I buy another Bitcoin to exchange it on Binance, for example. But if I would have done this, exchange this Bitcoin, it's not actually this Bitcoin, but it's actually this Bitcoin, because it's first in, first out, usually. Well, you, it's up to you to decide. It can also be first in, last out, but that would also be kind of stupid. So first in, first out is yeah, that's like the usual thing to choose. So these are my old Bitcoins. I get the new Bitcoin, but I would actually lose this Bitcoin, the first Bitcoin. So same result, 2.5 grand, need to pay taxes, done. Same mistake, so stupid. I was so freaking mad that I made this stupid mistake. But then again, I would have made the second mistake probably anyways. And again, the way how to solve this is that you buy another crypto. So I have Bitcoin for an exchange situation. I cannot buy Bitcoin. I would need to buy Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Satoshi's vision or something other than what I already own. It needs to be a new coin or an exchange token or something like that. That was just, wow, like literally such a crazy revelation, insane. And I actually count myself lucky that I only made this mistake with half a Bitcoin. So yeah, that was the story. Keep this in mind, it is highly important. First in, first out, get accustomed with your laws. Don't let yourself get screwed over by the state. I mean, yeah, like taxes and all of that is, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's fine, but like, oh God, I don't want to give away my money. Literally, I just don't want to do it. Especially not in this moment of my life. Maybe later when I make more, but whenever it's possible to not pay taxes, I will not pay taxes. That is for sure. But yeah, that's enough progress for this vlog. Smash that like button. That way I hopefully won't get smashed by a car or something like that because I, I'm still not there. <laughs> still no health insurance. 
Anyways, back the bell like to never miss. Story time vlogs. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.